Guys, we'll get started this morning. We'll start with. Would you please stand if you are able? Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, gracious Lord, and holy God, we come to you today knowing that you are the great and the glorious Lord God, the creator of heaven and earth, and the lover of each and every one of our souls. We thank you, Lord, for this day. We pray that you would be with us in our meeting today. We pray that you would guide our deliberations and make our decisions consistent with your glory and your honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please join me in the pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, good morning again. I just went blank. <laughs> well, what's the name over here? Prayer man. Okay, we're going to start with.
Okay, and for the treasurer's report, our beginning balance was $1,292.89. We had $220 in income, $112.32 in payout, and our ending balance, $1,400. I can do the men's lunch. We're going to Der Dutchman next month. <laughs> Sign-up sheet's out there. Where did you go this month? Your company seven barbecue in Inglewood. Oh, okay. yeah. okay. What else is shop coming up? <laughs> I don't know. I got it. Let me get on down. I got it. Okay, I don't have as much as I had the last time, but Tom Bailey has uh, moved in to 11A Bellcraft, and we're waiting on Ed Dreyer to come to 10A Masters, and Jerry Brooks and Nancy Cummings have moved into 7A Bellcraft. I don't think they're here. I was looking for them. And Dorothy Brokhart has moved into 7D Bellcraft, and then we have Eugene and Wanda Simpson, who will be moving into 12D Apprentice, and I don't know when that is going to be. How many invitations did you send out for the welcome neighbor? <coughs> there'll be at least, there'll probably be more than 28, depending on if we have some more move-in before then. Explain that all on COVID. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, Dorothy, are you ready? You need it? No? Sure. Okay. I sent out cards. I sent out cards for January and February. Uh, death cards I sent out two. Thinking of you cards I sent out two. And get well cards I sent out nine. That's only for January and February. If you find anybody who needs a card, just call me and I'll send it down. I usually go to the post office and she tells me what's going on, whether, where they are. Sometimes they're not home. They're in a the hospital or something. Okay? Thank you. That's a total of 12 for January and February. Okay, we did have a whole poll. Oh, yeah, I've got the death and report. <coughs> Since I'm Secretary of Morning Star Elijah, I track the deaths and whatnot. Uh, Marsha Frank passed away on Tuesday, February 28th. And Jack Miller used to live down in 11B and moved up to York right back in November and December, uh, passed away on March 1st. They did have a couple folks of who is Jack Miller? And I found his old bit with a picture in it. Great pick of Jack. The, uh, that gives the answer to the Services tomorrow down in Salina. <coughs> down here, down here in uh, we had two other uh, deaths, not from the square. One was Don Nichols. He had started in Iredell and went over to York, right? He was a member of Morningstar. And then the one that just really got us was Bill Drake, who had the three-wheel bicycle. Um, oh, yeah. And like his son-in-law said, Bill was a rocket scientist. Literally, he worked on the Nike Hercules missile system that the Army used way back when. Uh, and he had, uh, we did, we did uh, attend his funeral on Sunday. He had everything planned out. What pictures, where they're going to go, what's this, what's that, everything. It was, it, it was really something. But it, it was, it was a bit of a shock for us. So, those are the deaths that I've got word on so far you know, since our last meeting. You got a question? When, when you do that, um, do you send something down to the funeral? <coughs> I Something to the funeral, like what? Flowers or no. anything no. from the home? No. No, I keep track of them. Then twice a year we do our, we, the, the council does our memorial donations to the LMH Foundation. And then okay. I send along, I usually have the copy of the obit, so when I do up the letter, I just include it right along so they can find, you know, who's the survivors. Sometimes they probably have to call the Go back to the funeral home, get the survivors list if there wasn't a spouse that was involved. Um, Bill Drake's wife, pre-deceased pre him, and so did Jack Miller. So 
they'll have to go through the kids, nieces, nephews, whoever. But no, we, do, you know, from here, no, we do not send flowers. You don't need me to send cards or anything. Um, I don't have any direct survivors yeah, for Marsha right. or Jack. That's okay. But if I mean, you do, you know, know. you'd have to go through the funeral home to handle the arrangements. Okay. Sometimes they do, and sometimes they're over. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Tom Drake is in the hospital. Who? Tom Drake or late never. He's in the hospital. He is in the hospital. In the hospital. Okay. Okay, I was let's see we've got Brenda's not here. Sam, do you have anything to report? Yeah. I, I took an extended vacation to Florida, so I don't know what's going on here. I was very nervous to see David's chair empty when I came in, so I'm sure glad to see him here. Uh, I see we're coming along with the, uh, the opening gates, and probably before too long, the gates will be down. So, other than that, Brenda sends her report and regret. She's not feeling well, so that's all I know for now. Thank you. It's just, I have the opposite reaction. You're nervous when Dave's not not here. I'm nervous when he is. That's <laughs> <laughs> not true. That's not true. Keep it up, Dave. Yeah, yeah I think we're ready for you, Dave. I don't know. I mean, it's good. <laughs> you got a good crowd here today. Yeah, we have a short meeting today. You got any new faces? Anybody new in here? Sure. <laughs> oh, no, Mary was here last time. Yeah, okay. So was Phil. So I think, yeah. Phil, you were here last time, weren't you? Yeah. Everybody know Phil Wynn? Okay. Yeah, I do know. All right. I don't know how prepared I am. I don't think I'm very because of... Well, explain why you're late. Late. you're late. I'm late because they're changing the Transformers up in Rickley, York Wright, and Scottish Wright. So... Oh. They've been planning it for weeks, and because if you all know, if you remember back around Thanksgiving, they lost power in Cunningham, transformer blew. So they checked the other transformers, and Rickley was getting close as well. So they changed them all. It's all it was scheduled for 7 o'clock this morning uh, to unplug them from the transformers, put them in the new big generators, and uh, we were going to be without power for 20 to 60 minutes in all three of those buildings, which we were. And when they cooked it, when they when they uh, turned on the switch for the generators, all the cable was out. Oh. And all three buildings, oh. yeah, the spectrum was gone. So, uh, so uh, I just spent an hour and a half with spectrum, tracking, tracking the lines through the tunnels, and we found where it was. And so, fingers crossed, when we switch it back to the new transformers, they work again. But I got the spectrum text name and phone number in my pocket <laughs> in case I have to have them back. But uh, um, so we see people, all the maintenance guys, they're all in the three buildings checking things out. So they're not full power right now because they're all up on backup counter. We told people in Scottish Rite, please no laundry. Don't y'all do laundry on, on Tuesday. Let's conserve the power. So because when they, when they, when the power goes out, that elevator's gone too. So yeah, so, but it's only for 20 to 60 minutes. So they had to plan ahead. We had meetings with them and so far, it's all going smooth except for the Spectrum outage. <laughs> the good thing was Spectrum knew about it because it sent a signal to them because there was so much out down here. And it wasn't, didn't affect you guys. So. Um, it may have affected 1851 this morning. Did anybody have 1851 on this morning? Yeah, I didn't know. It's okay. okay. You still had it, so it didn't affect that. When I left home. Yeah, because we checked. We had to backtrack all the way to that room. And that one was still going. So. But anyways, things that are going on on campus. Uh, daylight savings time, did you already cover that? No. So you no. spring forward this Saturday, so get more daylight, which is great. I don't have to come come to work when it's dark and go home when it's dark. It makes me, puts me in a better mood. David, are they going to keep it this time? Keep or are they going to change it again? What, daylight this savings? Federal, federal yeah, that's federal. They, they, they'll probably never change it. I wish they would. Yeah, but it, it'll probably never happen. Uh, things we got coming up, uh, let's see if I can get this in the right order. Uh, call connection is Friday, so Tony will be able to fill you in more on the gates. Uh, you know they were down there working this week. I, I saw the text down there. 
I think the next step is to get the little chip on your card or on your car. Uh -huh. So when you pull in, anybody have a um, go to car washes and you get the yeah. and you get uh -huh. the monthly rate or the yearly rate. You you pay in advance and you just pull up to the window to the car wash and the gate opens because that little chip on your windshield. That's what it's going to be like for us. Anybody? Toll roads have that. Yeah, so it's going to be just like that. So and there'll be two lanes, one for residents and staff. You'll come up to it and that gate will open when it reads your chip. And then the other lane will be for guests. And they, they have to buzz into the security and PBX. Okay, to get on. So, but that's all coming. I don't know. Uh, Tony will be able to update us more on Friday on that. Um, next, uh, what do we got? Fairfield Mall trip is Wednesday the 15th. Um, bus will pick up here at 10.30. And ladies' lunch, March 22nd. Did you cover that? Where are you no, going? George's Diner. Oh, and on Dixie. Well, I'm going to let we have the resident who's really pushing that. So if they'll take a reservation or can accommodate, I don't know if they take red. I, I did eat there a while back and it's pretty good. I had breakfast there. Um, uh, then we got we got men's. No, this is the group lunch. You're going to Chewy's. That's on Wednesday the 29th. A um, couple events going on this this uh, this month from our events committee. We have our fish fry. That'll be Friday, March 24th. The new fryers are in, so we should be getting ready to go, right, Tom? I'm ready. Tom's going to help do the frying. So, Tom and uh, my bus driver, Tim. Uh, little Tim. They're going to be our fish fryers for the night. Um, then the events committee, we got we got all of our games planned, our chuck a luck our showdown, our games of chance, 50-50. Yeah, so come come enjoy it. Have fun. It's $10. Uh, tickets are 10 in advance, 15 at the door. Okay. Um, next we have, uh, then, then I have the Reds opening day party. Uh, there is a sign-up sheet out there. Events committee is sponsoring that. Uh, come enjoy the Reds game uh, in the, in the pre-game celebration. I would think Cincinnati's going to have a parade this year. It got canceled last year because of COVID, didn't it? Yeah, it got, yeah. We got canceled. One of yeah. us. Mm -hmm. I, I think it was postponed. Yeah, yeah. Opening day did get postponed last year. So it was because of COVID. Day, 31st, 30th. That is the 30th. March 30th. It's against the Pirates. So the two last place teams are playing. So <laughs> should be exciting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then uh, it looks like Stacy has music uh, from Al. I'm, I'm probably going to butcher this. Mayon. Mayon. He's been here before, correct? Yes. You know much about it? I, I've never got. I've not gotten to hear him play. Is he pretty good? Well, he's back in the auditorium, so that's a good thing. Auditorium is open. So speaking of the auditorium, we're starting pickleball up. Are my pickleball people in here? I don't see them. So I might just put something on K4 about pickleball. We're going to be playing on Wednesdays and Thursdays. If you're interested, oh, I forget the date. The first, um, first Wednesday is a training. Yeah, it's, it's March 15th, I think, or 14th. Uh, we're going to do a pickleball training. They're going to teach you the rules and all about pickleball. What pickleball is, it's pretty much, uh, it's, it's, a, it's like a combination of ping pong and tennis on a, you be able to stand on a, you got to stand on a small tennis court. And you got a paddle and you got like a, like a whistle ball with holes in it, which is about the size of a softball. Softball or baseball, right? And there is a net you got to go over. over the net. It's kind of fun. Dave asked a question about that. We've never played pickleball, but do you have to wear safety goggles when no, you play? No, it's not like racquetball where it'll suck your eyeball out and okay. get hit. But I was a big racquetball back yeah, in the day. Yeah, yeah. Totally different racquetball. That ball's not going that hard. Okay. It's a beat. You're, you're just getting hit by a wiffle ball. Yeah, it's more like a nerf ball. It's, it's more of like a volley back and forth. There's not real big hard hits or anything okay. like that. But, uh, yeah, come out and, and enjoy. We have uh, the Hensons, uh, John and Connie. They'll be doing the course and teaching that. So they're racquetball players. Okay. Uh, Al Mayhem. He'll be over there. He is March 30th at 1.30 in the auditorium. I didn't say that, did I? No. March 30th in the auditorium. What day of the week is that? That's a Thursday. Thursday. 
the only other thing I have is uh, reminders, urgent care uh, premieres here Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 9 to 1. If anybody's feeling ill and they need to go get checked out, please go see them. And also, uh, Matthew's back with his wellness classes. Those are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as well, as well 10 a.m. and 1.30. So he's been getting uh, pretty good size groups. So if anybody's interested, please join that. What about his concerts that he has monthly? Or I don't have it on the calendar. He's, he's got uh, like three more concerts scheduled monthly. April 12th. Bill, do you know? April 12th is the next one. Because they're on the first Wednesday. First Wednesday of the month. Except out. April. Yeah. Except April. Next two are first Wednesday. Next two are the first Wednesday. And that's in the exercise room, correct? Yeah. yeah. At we had time? about 30 there. Is it what Long time? 1.30? 3 o'clock. 3 to 4. 3 to 4. And I remember reading something that said bring bring your own food or something. Yeah, you can have yeah. snacks. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you have fish fried chicken today? Yes, I do. You can get them after. I'll stick okay. around. I do have them. Are there any plans for Spectrum to get all of those to eat the 1851 now? So you're still having 1851? I've got you and i got Charity. And Doris don't have it? They don't have it either. Must be something. We have them on TV, but not one but not the other. We're probably going to have to call Spectrum Tech to come to your unit because it's, there's just a handful of you that are not getting any. Okay, I'll come down and we'll call Spectrum. Okay. All right. What about sound for 1851? That is, uh, that's a no right now. That's the K-4. K-4, they, they don't publish their manual. It should be on there. Um, I know Kevin was the one that always did the menu. That's why there's a menu pickup right now. Because Kevin's no longer there. Any word on them when they'll get a new menu? I've not heard. I, I think it's, it's been posted internally, so it has been posted. So, anything? Can you tell us now what you just said about the menus? Um, there's, okay, was I talking that way? Um, the menus, if you haven't gotten the menus, um, I know they're out. I know there's copies in the post office. I thought I saw it on the computer. When did they come out yesterday? Because um, some a resident went by me and said, menus are out. And he's oh, like, we're getting out of it. But, okay. but, 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 but there are none in that room now. Um, Bill, do you put them out? On Fridays, but, but time is uh, Monday. They, they were dropped off, and I put them in the Scottish right mailbox yesterday about 1 o'clock. What? There was a small supply of them over there. So there's no trash, right? It was not. I, I was not given any to bring over here. Oh, they didn't print that many. They didn't print that many. Okay. Well, I, I think Nathan took care of that, but uh, I know. I'll get with them about. But it's on the TV in K4. It is on there. Okay, I thought it was. Yes. Okay. I'll look into it. Okay, K4. K4 menu. Okay. Anything else? No? Not very exciting much. And when you go on the big spray this year, which first day of spray? When is the March? Oh, it's here on the calendar. March 20th. First day of spring. Anybody see snow flurries this morning? <laughs> no, no, no. My, my app said there were snow flurries. When are you going on your vacation? Uh, end of April sometime. Sorry, I didn't hear that. I'm going on vacation the end of April. Uh, for just a week. One week? Yeah. Okay. Back to you. Okay. Okay. Anything else? One thing I wanted to bring up is uh, back in the old days, before I was president, this meeting used to have a speaker every time. We got away from that, and I wondered whether people wanted that or <laughs> prefer it this way, but this just be a distant social meeting. <clears throat> but any, anybody feel strongly about having a program? Well, if you can come up with something exciting, but the ones we had in the past were so long-winded that it maybe went on too long.
I'm sorry? You have to tell them in advance, 15 minutes. It doesn't work. <laughs> I'm just going to remember some of the ones we had. Anyway, you'll have to come up with something really exciting before we'll buy in. So. Well, we do have high 12 of people want a meeting with a program, so, you know. I prefer it this way, but I mean, majority rule, so let me know if you want you know, a meeting or have an idea for it. Okay, let's see. That was old, that was new business. Special announcements, anybody? I've got the kind of sheets for the plot of the neighbor. They'll be out on the on the whatever that is out there. And next Tuesday we can sign a better roll call. Al Bailey, who runs the honor flight program out of the state, will be our guest speaker. So he always brings an interesting program. Uh, so the veterans, spouses, guests, they're basically everybody gets. We, we, we don't discriminate. The roll call is not down. You do? Roll call tonight? A week from tonight. A week tonight? Second Tuesday. Oh. 14. Second Tuesday. I twelve fourth Tuesday. I have no idea who the speaker is for that. Not my yacht.